Lord Buddha. Keep my mind sharp and my memory clear as I recount this tale. I tell of warriors and weapons, faith and fury, and a man whose like we shall not see again. Devapala, son of Dharmapala, the greatest ruler of the Pala dynasty. From his ancestors he inherited the fertile earth and thick jungles of Bengal, a realm where tigers prowl, reptiles swim, and the sacred waters of the Ganges empty into the sea. This is the land of the Mahayana, the great vehicle of Buddhist teachings, a creed that guides us towards Nirvana, an enlightened escape from the endless cycle of birth and rebirth. Some call the life of a monk difficult, but they know nothing of that of an emperor. We monks must only care for the spiritual welfare of our people. An emperor, however, taints himself daily with their material concerns, miring himself in dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction is an inherent aspect of our material existence. That is the first noble truth. Devapala's aspiration in life was selfless. To become a bodhisattva, an enlightened being who forestalls nirvana in order to hold the door open for others rather than locking it behind him. To do this, he sought to build an empire and rule benevolently, improving the lot of his subjects. A noble aim, but one not easily accomplished in such violent times. Devapala knew that he needed to secure Bengal's borders before he could rebuild its interior. Summoning his armies, he sent his cousin and commander Jayapala to demand the submission of the neighboring realms of Kamarupa and Utkala. Cousin Devapala, our forces march on Kamarupa as you ordered. I shall send tidings of our victory shortly. Pala elephants! We are doomed! Devapala, you have made your show of force. Hey, My lands Julia. and people are yours. Hi. You will not spare them. Now is not the time to grieve over the fallen. We must build up here and then continue our offensive against Utkala. So, you Pala seek to trespass on our lands. <laughs> that went so, so well for your forefathers.
Lord Kala does not stand alone, Palas. Some of your old family friends do not agree with your ambitions. I fear that she means the Pratiharas and Rashtrakuta's cousin. Shh. Just give the word and I will bolster the defenses on our flank. Adish. Have a keen eye on the new Bala lands, riders. Shall we pillage them a little? Hey, Zuka Zuka Dia. Your forefathers Hi. paid us great insult once, Palace. It is high time we returned the favor. Nirman Kari Nirman Kari. Adesh Nirman Kari Nirman Kari Adesh Nirman Kari Hoy Nirman Kari Nirman Kari Hey Nirman Kari Adesh Nirman Kari Toyar Hoy Hey Adesh Shottori Shottokaturiya Adish, Kononkari. Oh. 
तो यार निर्माण करी हे निर्माण करी आदेश
तैयार निर्माण कारी निर्माण कारी हाय तैयार हाय तैयार आदेश हे निर्माण कारी निर्माण कैया निर्माण कारी हे तैयार हाय निर्माण कारी आदेश हे खनन कारी हे निर्माण कारी आदेश Feel the wrath of my elephants. Ami jai. Do you have a gun, Gary? Shoot to. Nirman, Gary. Do you? Hi, Nirman, Gary. Nirman, Gary. Nirman, Gary. Nirman, Gary. Hey, do you? Shoot to. Gun, 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 gun. निर्माणकारी निर्माणकारी आदेश आदेश खननकारी खननकारी
হয় সত্তরে নির্মাণকারী তৈয়ার আদেশ হয় সত্তরে The sea is an excellent source of food, but we can also use it to attack Utkala. Toyar. Nirman Kari. Toyar. নির্মাণকারী আদেশ তৈয়ার হয় হয় নির্মাণ আদেশ নির্মাণকারী হয় নির্মাণকারী আদেশ নির্মাণকারী হয় কাঠুরিয়া Armored elephants are hardy beasts. We should field some and batter down the enemy defenses. Toy 
We must leave this equipment to the enemy. Cousin, that Ukala now does stand alone. How embarrassing.
lost cousin. I hope that our forces and I have made you proud. Welcome, Arupa submitted almost instantly. Utkala fought hard. As the bodies of the slain piled up, Devapala began for a moment to doubt the virtue of his cause. Yet as the months passed and the wounds of the realm healed, these doubts slowly vanished. His heart bloomed as he observed the prosperity of his land and the contentment of his people. We are what we think and what we think we become. Our thoughts shape the world, said the Buddha. Devapala's shaping of the world had only just begun. An idea developed and acted on is better than an idea that merely exists as an idea, said the Buddha. Devapala's successes in Kamarupa and Utkala filled him with increasingly ambitious ideas. The first he acted on was his desire to control the sacred city of Kanoj, a place that rulers and empires had coveted for centuries. To hold its central temple would be the ultimate stamp of legitimacy. Desire is the source of dissatisfaction and is inextricable from it. That is the second noble truth. Devapala was not alone in his ambition, however. Two other great powers, the Pratiharas of the West and the Rashtrakutas of the South, rivals of the palace for generations, also lay claim to the glorious city. Formidable figures led the enemy armies. The young Pratihara king Mihira Borja had just subdued his neighbors and bolstered his cavalry with a new breed of horses, the swiftest to be found in all of India. Amogvasha, pride of the Rashtrakutas, oozed confidence after crushing a series of rebellions with a deadly force of infantry and elephants. All family friends indeed, as Utkala had so eloquently put it. You can count on us, Cousin Devapala. Hi. We will not Do let you your insidious you enemies Anish. claim Kanoj. Hey. We shall see about that, Bala Skakari. A battle with our Hi, two age old enemies hey, over Anish. this Anish. sacred city. Hi. I have been looking forward to this. The monument is ours now, fools! We shall dedicate this great temple to Shiva.
vast ignorance, our foolish opponents abandoned the use of the powerful Rata centuries ago. We should build some of these deadly chariots and wreak havoc on our enemies. Hoi, Hana the monument for now, but you can be sure that our enemies will try to take it back. We welcome you to our sacred city, Great Varabala. We wish no part in this conflict. I have one request of you. Decades of conflict have caused this once great city's temples to fall into disrepair. And we beg your generosity in restoring them even though our creeds be different. The men you slew before were mere pawns, Parlors. Now you will face our full might.
आदेश निर्माणकारी लीव कनौज टू अस Lest you be flogged by a legion of Urumi swordsmen. Toyar, hey, Atish, I'm Jai. Toyar, hey, Shut, I'm Shut, Mister. Dharma, but you as Devapala. May our creeds live in harmony for all time, and may this land always know the rule of kings as Dororan does you.
experienced craftsmen have made crucial improvements to our ratas. Now, they will roll into battle, shining like the rays of the sun. Hi. Adesh? Hey! Shuttu! Nirman Kari! My riders have acquired a new breed of horses. Now, where shall I send them? Hoy, Ostro Tarunkuru, Ho Wagwan.
Hey. Shotori. Nirman Kari. The men you faced in the past were but a few expendable scales. Dare you face the entire fish? Surely you know that there is always a bigger fish. Notch is nearly absolute. Hold the monument just a little longer. is among the most arduous disciplines. 
but the final victory makes its way to the one who endures the most, said the Buddha. So it was with the Palas, who often won battles not with tactics, but with an uncanny ability to outlast their rivals. Devapala's orders were clear. Kanoj was not to be damaged. The man who would be a bodhisattva would not see this holy site defiled by the evils of war. Battles raged outside of the city for days, until the Pratihara and Rashtrakuta armies finally sounded the signal to retreat. Following his victory, Devapala invited into his entourage a Brahman, the priest who had first welcomed him into Kanoj. That man was I, humble Viradeva, who would soon grow closer to the emperor than anyone. To destroy what is around us is to destroy ourselves. To cheat another is to cheat ourselves, said the Buddha. The Honas, predatory horse lords of the northern plains, were a living mockery of these words. Long had they lain dormant, drunk on wealth and decadence, but the chilling memories of their wretched work of pillaged cities and plundered crops, of burnt monasteries and butchered monks, were as vivid in our minds as the sheen of the morning sun on the snowy ground of distant mountains. Equally dreadful were the rumors that these Hunnas, who watched with glee as their neighbors whittled each other down, had begun to stir once more. The Pratiharas and Rashakutas may have been longtime enemies of Devapala's family, but unchecked, the Hunas posed an even greater threat. Renunciation of desire will bring an end to one's dissatisfaction. That is the third noble truth. So Devapala renounced his struggle with his forefathers' rivals and marched his forces north into the demon's lair to crush the foul Hunas forever. The Hunas once burned our temples and slew our monks. Now, we will take the fight to these Khans and their mounted hordes. The Hunas' hate has made them powerful, but they are not beyond redemption. Perhaps our monks can sway their Khans from their insidious path. Tomar Shebai. yourself not entirely feeble but one small victory does not win a war need I remind you of the relics that our ancestors looted from yours Adish, hi. Jogariya, hi. Toya, Khanon Kari. Adish, 
Junaria. आदेश तुम्हार शेबा नाम तुम्हार सेवा हाय Our monks have swayed this Khan from the unrighteous path. Now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies. You are still winning battles. This is impossible. Our wounds from the battle over Kanoj are still fresh, Devapala. But we sense a greater threat to the north. Will you let the enemy of your enemy become your friend? For however short a time. Let us destroy the Pratiharas, cousin. Those scum will jump at the first chance to betray us. Emperor, while you may desire vengeance, remember that renunciation is one of the four noble truths. The Hunas are our true enemy. So, you seek to pillage the great city of Multan. You are no better than the marauders who you claim to oppose.
It would seem that we are allies. For now. The city of Multan foolishly supplies our Hunar adversaries. We should make an example out of it. Venerable Devapala, look! Reformed by our teachings, your new Huna allies take the field against their despicable brethren. A new horde has just arrived to fight you. Surely you realize that you are doomed! Shoto Nirman Kari to Yak. Kari. Oh. 
تو من شکای شکای امی جی to refine your weapons and reform your armies. Prepare to be Hi. ridden down like grass! Our monks have swayed this Khan from the unrighteous path. Now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies. Hey, <laughs> Our monks have swayed this Khan from the unrighteous path. Now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies. We have subdued the nefarious Hunas. Never again will they threaten our lands or our faith. Must exist so that good can prove its purity, said the Buddha. The Pala army shone like the brightest of lights as it plunged into lands darkened by the Hunas' corrupt and wicked ways. No obstacle was too great for it, no foe too fierce. Some Hunas saw the error of their ways and pledged themselves to our monks' teachings. Those who did not were struck down or vanished into the shadows. As Devapala strolled through the ranks of his cheering warriors, I was elated by our victory. Yet something in the Emperor's gaze stirred a feeling of dread within me. The would-be Bodhisattva was now being hailed as a great conqueror above all and I feared that this change had taken root even in the Emperor's mind. 